The billionaire turned crime fighter after Adrian Portelli's business was broken into, the Melbourne property mogul decided to help solve it with a reward. A big one. Adrian Portelli, a victim of crime. We film with large amounts of cash and we tell people that we don't have any cash on site but... Even billionaires aren't immune to Melbourne's gang crime wave. Let's go! But when you can splash the cash, you can help fight the crimes. They're f***ed up my morning, so I'm willing to cough up 100 grand to make these guys pay. Let's go. His reward for information doubling in less than 24 hours. So I'm upping it up to $200,000. On Wednesday, just after 10pm, sledgehammers were taken to Portelli's promotional headquarters in Melbourne's north. <laughs> Smashed through the window over there yep. and then looked inside the couch a bit and ripped the screens out of this machine and I don't oh. know. It seems they are on the hunt for cold hard cash. The kind Portelli throws around like it's loose change. But no luck. There's definitely no money on site and the money goes straight to the bank. The foursome donned headlights and were pretty vocal as they ransacked the luxury space. <laughs> Portelli is not waiting for the police investigation. He started one all on his own, using his huge social media following to flush out tip-offs from the public. We had over 5,000 people message me directly. Since the cash reward offer went viral yesterday, his company, LMCT Plus, has some leads. The same car was seen a couple of weeks back. They pinched a number of uh, motorbikes and we've had countless uh, messages from other people that have uh, witnessed the same crimes by people in this, in this vehicle as well. The trade promotion guru has lots of toys lying around. They didn't want it. No, they, they picked and choose. So they went through the boxes and said what they wanted <laughs> and they're probably more valuable than what they took. Portelli's already had workmen on site to turn this into Fort Knox. We've taken extreme measures at my personal home. I've heard of many stories and I feel for everyone. He's the self-made billionaire who hails from Melbourne's working class western suburbs. We grew up in a neighbourhood where it was unsafe, you know, over in the west, so uh, we always assume the worst. But from humble beginnings, Portelli now calls home one of the city's most expensive penthouses. But that's just on the weekends. I do have a lot of properties, yes. We, we tend to move around a lot, so <laughs> to keep uh, people guessing where we are. The big shot property investor is also a new dad. And like the rest of the community, he's fed up with thieves. If this is one way to ensure these certain groups are taken care of, then sure, I'll step up. Portelli couldn't be more serious about catching these thieving thugs. I uh, take it personally, so I'm willing to cough up the $200,000 to make sure they're off the streets. The police investigation remains ongoing, as does Portelli's. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of it and, and everyone can sleep easy at night. A bit better knowing that these people are taken care of. Victoria Police tell us people are free to offer their own rewards.